The winner of that contest is the three seed in the upcoming Big Ten tournament, is locked into the double bye. There's a lot riding on this game. There is, and I, I think a lot of those two guys are going to be duking it out for that third spot. Nobody wants to have to play five games in five days. I mean, that would wear out even you and I. Oh, man. sure, and we're young pups. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's really going to be a dog fight for those guys. And for Michigan, uh, Michigan State, it's really going to rely on what they do on not just the offensive end, because we all know what Miles Bridges is going to do, but it's going to be those guys around him. How does Nick Ward come out and play? Does he, you know, be his Batman, his Robin to his Batman? How does the rest of those guys come out and play, including uh, McQuaid? McQuaid has been shooting the ball pretty decent here pretty lately, and they're going to need him to shoot the ball well as far as uh, to stretch it, everything out. Be able to give uh, Miles a little bit of space to get to the basket and be able to do his thing. Alvin Ellis is going to be another big part. I mean, he was really aggressive in the last game uh, at Illinois and played extremely well. And then Langford, you know, anytime Langford plays well and he shoots the ball well, Michigan State is really hard to beat. What's the key for the Terrapins heading into this game? Well, the key for the Terrapins is for Melo Trimble is going to be Melo Trimble, and we all know that. But we also, he's been depending on the freshmen a lot this year. Those freshmen are going to have to really step up and take a lot of that pressure off of him. You know, Kevin Herter shot the ball extremely well. You know, Justin Jackson has been up and down a little bit here as of late, as well as Anthony Cowan. But the real uh, uh, necessity for them is going to be their big guys and how they defend. Can they stick and defend Nick Ward one-on-one -on -one and force those other guys to have to beat him because they're staying at home? And that's one of the things that's going to be a key and it's going to be extremely uh, necessary for them and if they want to win this game. And again, the winner of this game locks up a great position in the Big Ten tournament. And neither of them necessarily, or so we think, needs yeah. to do well in the Big Ten tournament to make the big dance.